In this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate a flickering light in Blender. So you can either do this with an object light like I'll be doing, or you could also just do this with a regular light like a point light or another light. So I just modeled this simple fluorescent light bulb as an example, and I'm going to select the light. And I'm going to click over here to go to the shading workspace. So you can see inside the light there's this cylinder here, and I just added an emission material. So I'm just going to hover my mouse over the emission and hit the I key to insert a keyframe. But you can also do this with just a regular light. So for example, if you have like a point light, what you can do is just turn up the power to whatever you want, and then just hover your mouse over the power value and hit the I key to insert a keyframe. So once you've added a keyframe to the light strength, what I want to do is open up the graph editor. So I'm just going to click here and then click and drag down to split the window and let go. So if I click right up here in the corner, I'm going to change this to the graph editor right here. So now what I want to do over on this panel is I just want to make sure I select the emission. So just make sure you select the light brightness, whether that is an emission like I'm doing or whether that's the power of the point light. So here's the light and then here is the strength emission. So if I just hold down the control key and then click with my middle mouse wheel to zoom around here or just hit the period key to zoom into it, here's the key frame that we've added onto the emission. So what I'm going to do now is hit the end key to open up the side panel and I'm going to click over here on modifiers. And I'm going to click on add modifier and I'm going to add a noise modifier. So let's just zoom out here and you can see it's added all of these little red lines here. So if I hit the space bar to play this, this is making it brighter or less bright. Let me just first turn up the scale so you can kind of see this better. So you can see right over here there are number values and so because I set the emission strength to 30, it's 30 right in the very middle. And then as it goes up it's going to be brighter and as it goes down it's going to be less bright. So again you can hold down the control key and then click with your middle mouse wheel to change the size of it. Now to actually see the strength of the light getting more more bright and less bright, I need this to go all the way down to zero. So I can turn up the strength a lot more. So let's just turn up the strength value. And I can see like right over here, it completely turns off. And then like right over here, it gets really bright. So as I play this, you can see the light is flickering. Now the problem with this is that I don't have a whole lot of control because like right here, the strength is really bright. It's over 100. But then right here, the strength is like negative 50. And so I want more control over how bright it gets. So if I click on add modifier, I can add another modifier after this one. And I'm going to add the limits. So first we're adding the noise modifier and then after that we're going to limit it. So I'm going to limit it on the Y. So click on the Y here on the minimum Y and now you can see the minimum Y is turned to zero. So now as I scrub through this you can see like right over here it's at 100, right over here it turns down to zero. And so I can actually drag this minimum Y value and I can just make sure it's at zero. So that way the values won't go any farther down than zero. Now what I can also do is have the maximum Y so I can click on the maximum Y and turn this on and then I can drag this value around and so this way this is going to have a maximum value and it's going to have a cutoff value for the brightness of the light. So for example maybe I don't want the light to get any brighter than 40 I can just drag the maximum Y and just drag it down just like that. So now you can see the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 40 of the brightness. So now as I just play this, you can kind of see the light is flickering on and off. And then what can also be really useful about this is if I hit G to grab and drag the light up here, I can have it so it's turned on most of the time. So you can see now most of the time it's at 40 and then just occasionally it kind of dips down. So this just might be a very subtle flicker because it's just dipping down like by half. And then right here, it just dips down a little bit and turns to zero. And so if you want to be on most of the time and just occasionally flicker off, you can kind of bring the keyframe up. Or if you have the keyframe selected and hit G to grab and drag it down, you can have it mostly down. And now the light is actually going to be turned off most of the time and just occasionally it will flicker on. And then of course you can change the strength and you can also change the scale. So if I turn the scale to a small value, it's going to flicker a lot. Or if I turn the scale up to a large value, it'll only flicker here and there. Now there is also one more useful modifier that you can use. And that is that if you want to be a bit more blocky and not quite so smooth. So what I can do is click on add modifier and I can add the stepped interpolation. So what this is going to do is make it more blocky and add all these little steps here. And so to actually make this useful, I can drag the step size. So I'm just going to make this step size really big. And now it's going to be a lot more rigid. So you can see it's fully off, then it immediately turns on, then it immediately turns off again. So instead of it kind of fading in and fading out, if you want to be very rigid, you can use that stepped modifier. So that's how you can animate a flickering light in Blender. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to watch more of my Blender quick tips, you can also check out my Blender quick tip tutorial playlist. Link to that is in the description. And if you'd like to help support this channel, some great ways to do that are by checking out my Gumroad store and my Patreon page. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.